the internet, working from home is becoming more and more common. Ditching the commute and rocking your yoga pants is even better than you're imagining. And while I wish it weren't the case, the rise in work from home opportunities has also led to an increase in scams. And by unknowingly engaging in one of these scams, you are at risk for losing money and other assets. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what to watch out for when looking for virtual work and stick around until the end because I've got a free gift that will help you discover your own strengths to provide services that can earn you more money. I'm Lauren Golden here with a new episode of Free Mama TV showing moms like you how to start and run a successful freelancing business from home. Now subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new episode of Free Mama TV right here every Tuesday. Are you looking for a freelancing gig or remote job, but keep getting disappointed or frustrated by all of the scammers out there? Maybe you're even asking yourself if this whole work from home thing is too good to be true. Well, mama, it's not. I've helped hundreds of women find legitimate work freelancing so they can make money from home. And now I want to help you too. Here are my five tips to protect yourself from work from home scams. Tip number one, look at the language. If you're seeing a lot of typos, broken English, or just poor grammar, maybe even strange word choice, like not how you would typically talk with someone in a personal or professional setting, it's likely that it is an automated message that is being pushed out across the interwebs to scam you, especially if you are utilizing sites like Upwork or LinkedIn or job posting sites, it's really highly likely that when you create a new account, you're gonna be targeted for these types of scams. So pay attention to the language of the people that you are communicating with online. Tip number two, stay clear of prepaid checks. Now, it's not totally uncommon, especially in the freelancing world, for you to get paid before you provide the service. But trust me when I tell you that if you're getting prepaid, it's because you as a business owner have required either a partial deposit or for the client to pay you in advance of the services. Never in my experience as a freelancer or working from home have I had someone offer to just mail me a check in the mail with payment for work that I haven't even completed or been trained on how to do. If you have somebody offering to mail you a check or asking you to open a bank account or doing any sort of other handling of money, it's probably a scam. I know it would be so amazing if somebody just mailed us a check and we were able to deposit it, but it's actually a part of a scam that's going to give them access to your bank account and it's making you incredibly vulnerable. We're going to talk about common sense here in just a minute, but in general, steer clear of handling any financial transactions from people you meet online. Tip number three, be wary of people who contact you directly with an offer. Now, whether you're applying for a remote job or looking for freelancing clients, you should absolutely avoid working with someone you've never spoken with. I mean, think about it. Would you ever hire someone to work for you without actually meeting them virtually or otherwise? Probably not. Have you ever been the target of a scam? How did you know things were sketchy? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Tip number four. Do your research. Mama, we are so fortunate that we live in the day and the age of the internet. Like I mentioned, we would not have all of these work from home opportunities without it. So you need to leverage it when it comes to finding jobs or clients online. Go to my good friend Google, search the company, search the name of the individual that you're interacting with. You can find a lot out. And thanks to the rise in scams, we also have an increase in forums and people who are reporting scammers. So simply by researching the person that you are engaging with, you could probably avoid a potential scam. And last tip number five, use good judgment. When you're super excited about a new opportunity, it can be really easy to turn a blind eye to things that normally may raise cause for concern. Don't let your emotions get the best of you because this lack in judgment could have serious consequences. Ask yourself, how would this look if the tables were turned? Common sense goes a long way in avoiding a scam. Now that you know my five ways to avoid work from home scams, what's your next step? The truth is the demand for legitimate virtual work is on the rise. So if you're looking for freelancing work you can do from home, but you're not sure what you can offer, I have some 
something for you. My 70 skills checklist will help you discover exactly what business owners are desperate to pay you to do. So grab this free checklist and figure out what you can get paid to do using the link below. Also, if you want to join a community of mamas just like you, I have a freelancing group where thousands of mamas come together for support and action taking tips and motivation. And if you liked this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and share it with your fellow mamas and comment below with hashtag I am a free mama if this video helped you protect yourself from scammers. Okay. All right, for legitimate work. And now I have my kids talking to me. How scary is that? Okay, good times. Okay, but any financial trends? If you, that you actually, I mean, think about it. Would you ever... Uh, and she's back. And that's how we get it done. Woo!